Here is application problem A5 on length midpoint in circles. Show that the quadrilateral with vertices k 3,4, l 2,0, y minus 3, minus 2, and z minus 1, 3 is a kite. Then determine the perimeter to the nearest tenth. I'll not do all the calculations for you here, but I'll tell you what to do and how to do. Okay? Now we have a diagram for us. Normally you are given a graph and you have to sketch your graph. Anyway, since the diagram is there, let's at least write down where the points K, L, Y, Z are, right? So 3, 4. So we got 3 and 4, so that is K for us, right? And L is 2, 0, so that is L for us. Y is minus 3, minus 2. And Z is minus 1, 3. So that is our quadrilateral, right? We have to prove that it should be a kite. Now, what do you understand by kite and what kind of characteristics should we prove? The two major characteristics which are for kite are that their diagonals bisect. So if I join this line, so let me join with this. then we should have 90 degrees here. That is one of the major characteristics of a kite. And what are the other characteristics which we should be proving for, right? We should prove that this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side. That is the second thing which we need to prove, right? And third thing which we have to find is then determine the parameter of the nearest Tenth, then you have to do simple calculation, right? So now, one by one, what you need to do is first you prove that slope of let's say z, z, slope m of z l should be equal to negative reciprocal of that means minus one over slope of k y. That is first thing you have to prove, correct? So you know the coordinates, you can find slope. For slope, what are you going to use? y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That is first thing, correct? And second, you need to prove is distance zk, right? So we'll say distance z to k is equal to distance k to l, right? And also, distance y to z is equals to distance y to l. Correct? For this, you will use the formula minus, okay, for this, you'll use the formula, distance formula, right? Square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Is that okay? And for slope, you know the formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay? You find all these distances. It is important to find distances also because you need to find perimeter, right? And then once you prove that, then find the perimeter. So perimeter will be equals to all these distances, correct? So distance z to k plus distance k to l, I could have written two times that, plus distance y to l plus distance y to z. Is that okay? So once you do that, you get your perimeter. And write units as unit. I hope that will not be a problem. Try to do all these things and explain your steps. Thank you.